Hello team, Blair here once again to take you through our cardio session for the day. I have the assistance of Bianca, one of our head coaches at Pinnacle Health Clubs. In today's session, we will be getting your heart rate up as always, and we do highly recommend that you uh, have your heart rate graphs and things like that, sweaty selfies and posting it in that Yammer group, create that community, create a bit of banter and a bit of accountability as well with your training. What you'll need today is you need a fair bit of space just so we can have short runs and that sort of thing, just with our warm up, which we're gonna do. You also need a drink bottle or a dumbbell if you have that accessible um, or anything that's weighted that you can press overhead. If you can't press overhead, if you've got limitations with shoulders, that's fine as well. It's not a problem. I'm gonna go through our warm up and sorry, probably the most important thing, make sure you have a mat or a towel, something like that soft on the knees because that's where we're gonna start now with our warm up. I'm gonna get Bianca to go hands and knees and she's gonna do some reach and rotates. <clears throat> what we wanna do with this one is get our shoulders as close to the ground as we can. You can see that, whatever works best for you guys. So five on each side. So we always start with the slow build, always go through our light mobility stuff, and then we start to get the heart rates up and a bit of movement. So she's gonna go five of those. Once she's done with those, she's gonna roll it over to her back, <clears throat> just cause I wanna make her <laughs> get up and down. <laughs> and she's gonna do some glute bridges for me. So she's gonna do 10 of those. I'm just gonna stand on the other side. If you want to make this um, a little bit more gauging in the calves and the hammies, you can pop up onto the toes instead of through the heels. So whichever variation of those two works best for you guys. Okay, I'm going to get her to jump up on her feet. You're just going to get into a deep squat the best you can with that. We're just going to rotate through the ankles. So you can see that she's got her chest up as best you can. She's got her elbows in between her knees, just rocking back and forth. A lot more better mobility than myself. Good work, B. <laughs> Big thank you. Great. Uh, the next one we're going to do, we're going to do an arabesque. So if you've seen any dancing in your time, it's going to look something like this. If you need to hold on to something, that's great. What you want to be doing, you see B is pointing her toe here. She's getting a nice squeeze to the glutes as well. Making sure the hips aren't rotating too much. So you're going to do 10 of those each side, guys. Like I said, if you struggle with balance, of course, you can hold on to something. That's totally fine. We're gonna to start to lift the intensity in about a minute's time. It's just a few more things we're gonna do with our mobility. One of my personal favorites is coming up with our leg swings. We've got the bar here as well, which is perfect for it. It's drinking bird, this one resembles as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to do our leg swings across the side and the front. So Bianca is doing a kick throughs there. Obviously start a little bit smaller and get into a big one if that's what you need to do. So 10 on both sides. So we're going to do 10 through those. Then we're going to go 10 across the front on both sides. Easy job for me today, just spectating. And you can see her transitioning and going straight across the front. Get as far or as short as you can go with those, whatever suits. <clears throat> okay, so in a few seconds, you're gonna need that bit of clearance for a bit of a jog. So we're gonna do some calf pumps. If you've ever done those before with us, you're about to find out. Just need a little bit of room, it's not for um, really fast acceleration, but we are gonna go forward and back with these movements. So I'm gonna get Bianca to do some calf pumps. So she's gonna sit her heels as far down to the ground as she can. When she's done her 10, she's gonna go for a short acceleration just towards the door. And then she's gonna back pedal back. Just go at your pace. We're gonna do three of those. Give yourself a bit of clearance. Yeah, 10 more calf pumps. She's ready to sprint and out the door. It's a good thing I had it closed today. Um. 
Okay, the next one we're gonna do is an A skip. So how that looks is getting a little bit of a drive through the knee and up on the toe. You don't have to do that little jump that I just did if you have bad joints. <clears throat> so we're gonna do that up and back three times. We're pretty close to starting our session at about two minutes time. Just to prepare you for your session in two minutes time, you will need your weight to be putting over your head. Go arm more. <laughs> Coaches can't count guys, we all know this. <laughs> well, we talk and can't multitask, that's our issue. So next one guys, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get into star jumps for 15 seconds. So I'm just gonna get B to show you what that looks like. You can take the impact out of it as well by just sticking a leg out to the side. Perfect, I'm sure you knew what I was gonna say. <laughs> so 15 seconds of those, that's great. <clears throat> Going to transition into some high knees right about now, the last 15. So heart rate should be up and ready to go. You've got 10 seconds, guys. Really pump them out. Pump them out. Come on, B. <laughs> <laughs> the best that you can do, guys. All right. So two, one, rest. <laughs> Get a few sneaky ones in. Grab your drink bottles and grab whatever you need. Get your sweat towels ready. What we're gonna to do today is straightforward in the way that it works. All the, the numbers you need to remember today is 10. Make sure you remember 10. So you've got two exercises to work through. So we're gonna do our weighted squat overhead press or a thruster, you may have here. So I'll get Bianca to show me a thruster just so you guys know how that looks. So she's got it in that rack position there in front of the chest and then extending right up above the head. So if you can't do any overhead movement, don't do the overhead movement, of course. If you've got bad knees, you can just do the overhead. So there's a few variations there. Our second one is our sit-up variations, which we're going to start on. I'm going to get her to show you a few variations of that, and then we're going to start in 15 seconds time. So we've got that variation. We've got the full range. And if you wanted to grab your weight in, you can do that too. All right, so we're going to start in three seconds guys on those sit-ups you're going to do 10 reps of those and then transition to the thrusters so if we go in two one you have five minute rounds you can do full range like Bianca's doing here or we can just opt for a crunch where you're just getting your shoulders off the ground just make sure she's doing a really good job of keeping her neck and torso in line it's always good to think of that I personally can't do these ones <laughs> I wish I was joking <laughs> into your thrusters and as always start slow and then start to build because you want to be making sure that you're feeling good and B's doing a few variations there just got your traditional goblet squats we call these ones got your full thrusters and then you've got your overhead presses so a few different options there for you all hope she's counting because I'm not <laughs> So we've got B, B through one round. If you want to try and beat the coach, of course, you can try and get as many rounds as you can. B's on one in one minute, which was demonstrated. So I'll suggest we'll probably get five on that. She's not going to like me after today, but that's okay. What else is new? <laughs> as always, guys, if you need any rest in between these ones, of course, if you want to raise the intensity, of course you can. Just go over how you feel. Make sure you give us plenty of shout outs to your colleagues and how you went. <clears throat> She's starting to work out for a bit of a sweat now, I think. <laughs> That's a yes. So once again, there's a few variations with your sit-ups, guys. Bianca's gone for the full range. If you can do that, that's great. If you just want to do crunches, you can just do normal crunches. <clears throat> She's not going for the easy option, I don't think. <laughs> great work. <clears throat> So you've got three minutes to go, guys. <clears throat> it is a long working block, so just remember that as well. Hopefully you haven't sprinted too quickly out of the blocks. And as B showed you in the first few rounds, you can just do a squat, do your overheads. Hopefully up to three or four rounds. Let's see how we go. <laughs> I was gonna give you four, B. <laughs> Okay, at the halfway mark, guys, you do have a 90-second break after this working period, so keep that in mind. Mm. Best part of the session, of course. Best part for me is I don't have to do much. It's always good. Mm. 
got. She's killing it. Not gonna look easy. I'm glad it's you today because my arms are sore and my legs are sore. <laughs> All for the good cause. <clears throat> Down to your last two minutes, guys. Get as much done as you can, of course. <clears throat> With this one, if you want to make it a bit more difficult, you can have a weight in your hand as well. So it's up to you how you want to go about that one. Weight in front of Ed. So you get your 90 seconds to go, roughly. <clears throat> working our way through that. <clears throat> there you go, mate. She's going great. Good to hear. <laughs> <clears throat> Thing you've eaten lunch. Quick lunch break, six. Great work, guys. You've just got over a minute to go now. <clears throat> Try and get as many rounds done as you can, maintaining good form as always. And just facilitate accordingly within it to be harder or easier, depending on how you're feeling. If you feel any back pain or anything. Make sure it is your shoulder blades off the ground. Great work, guys. Well into our last minute now. We've got 45 seconds to go. I suspect we might get one more round of both those exercises. Make sure you get your full range as well. There we go. Real sprint towards the finish line. We're just about there. We've got 30 seconds to go. I like that she's gone for the hard variation the whole way. Mm. Hope you guys are out there challenging yourself as well. <clears throat> Last 20, she's gonna get that in. <clears throat> Great work, you got 10 seconds. Might get a few cheeky reps in. She's determined to get that 10 done, I think. <laughs> That's a yes. We're only a little bit competitive here. <laughs> <laughs> Eight and a half, we'll pay that. <laughs> Great job, guys. You've got a minute and a half rest. Good work, B. Killing it. Good work, guys. So our next pairing of exercises, we've got... I'm just going to talk about them first and then we'll go through it. Let Bianca catch her breath. I might actually show you the first one. So we've got kneel to stance and then we've got shoulder taps. So with your kneel to stance, if you have something close by, you can use that. That's totally fine. I would highly recommend it if you've got bad joints. This one is good for um, uh, hip hinging, which is great. Um, and our second one is our shoulder taps. How are you feeling? You're good? Lovely. <laughs> what B's doing really well here is she's nice and flat through the back, nice and stable through the hips. So she's going 10 taps on each side. If you want to make that a bit easier, you can go to the knees. That's totally fine, whatever you need to do for that one. With the kneeler stands as well, just to go back to those, you can make that a bit more difficult with weight in your hand. If you want to make it super difficult, up above the head. Up to you though. I'd highly recommend utilizing something new if you've got bad joints. So we're gonna start in 15 seconds. So make sure we're ready to go. Our magic number is 10 once again. So just going at your own pace, my advice is start the slow build and start to pick it up as you go. <clears throat> All right, time on guys, in two, one, off we go. You can see B's opted for this one. Textbook, absolute textbook. You can alternate knees, or we can do 10 on the one leg and then come back to the other one for your next round of them. Whichever you prefer. at a very uh, high pace at the start there. See how much she's got left the rest of the session. Everything. <laughs> you can see that, guys. She's going for the harder variation, as always. She's got playing taps. She's tapping the opposing shoulder. Also got the knee variation as well. As long as you're bracing, got that nice flat back, slight curve in the lower back, but nothing excessive. Yeah. Needs to be a bit closer, I think. <laughs> yeah. Great work, guys. Already a minute into that one. Might feel like a lot longer, but I trust that it is a minute. 
So trying to get some full body movements incorporated today if you haven't noticed that already. Especially now that we've got you all moving a little bit more after our first few sessions. Let's have a bit of a stretch while I watch. <laughs> 90 seconds in. <clears throat> Doing really well, guys. Those ones should take a little bit of time to do. <clears throat> It's okay if it seems like they're taking a bit of time because they're meant to. 10 reps on each side. <clears throat> this is Bianca's warm up every day, by the way, guys. That's why it looks like she's doing it easy. As soon as I said that, she slipped. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, guys. You're approaching the halfway mark of this round, just about halfway through your session for the day, in fact. So that's exciting for us all. As much as we like exercise and we love how we feel after it when it's done. <clears throat> Great way to start the day if any of you are early birds. Great job, guys. Past halfway mark now. <clears throat> all downhill from here. If you want to start picking up the pace, of course, and getting as many rounds as you can, I highly recommend you start doing that <clears throat> whilst maintaining. You can see B's going fast. However, she is maintaining as best she can. 10 on each side. She's regretting not having a heart rate monitor today. <laughs> She's working hard. <laughs> Two minutes to go, guys. <clears throat> Should be starting to chip away at that one. If you have someone that you're competing against at home, love to hear about how hey, you've gone against them as well. And once again, we've got a minute and a half break coming up once this working block is over. How many rounds have you got? <laughs> 27 rounds, guys. Good news. <laughs> we'll stick to tens. <laughs> Just got over a minute to go now, guys. This is where you start to really pick up the pace. <clears throat> Obviously within your own limitations, of course. <laughs> Doing well, awesome. <clears throat> Hopefully you all got a decent sweat on at home. Work, guys, under that last minute, should be able to get through one or two rounds. <laughs> Make sure I don't walk in anything behind me. This is why we clear space at the start for coaches as well. I'm very, very impressed on what my colleague's doing right here. <clears throat> Hopefully, you guys are doing well out there as well. You've got 30 seconds to go. <clears throat> suspect we might get through. I shouldn't encourage. I think we'll get through one more. <laughs> Great job, guys. Get that full hip extension like you can see Bianca doing there. So really pushing the hips forward. You can alternate knees if you like, or you can just off the one like she's doing here. Great job, guys. Last few seconds coming up. She might sneak that in. Two, one. <laughs> Great job, B. Good work, guys. High fives all around once again. You've got a minute and a half rest. Make sure you have a drink. If you've got a sweat towel. Make sure you wipe down yourself, wipe down your spaces. So our next two exercises in our round is we've got high knees, which we've featured before. That can be a march on the spot as well if you're not good with impact. And we've got a different plank variation to what we just did. We've got our plank reaches. We're going to go out to the side with those ones. So once Bianca's composed herself, Get her to show you through those ones, <clears throat> different variations you can do. So you've got your high knees, <clears throat> which you would have seen us all do before. So high knees, as the name suggests, knees as high as you can, just to that hip height. If you just want to do a march on the spot as well, just focus on driving the knee. That's totally fine. And then we've got our plank reaches. So you can either do it on the elbows like B's got going on there, you can have it up high. And you can also go on the knees, of course, if you really want to go on the knees to make it a little bit easier. So a few different variations there. Hopefully that facilitates for you all out there. 
love to hear what variation you went for as well. So I got 15 seconds. The rest break goes pretty quick. <laughs> That's okay, isn't it? <laughs> it's great. Confirmation. <laughs> Loves a minute through the rest. There we go. Okay, team, you're on. This is your third of your fourth round. So it's 10 high knees each leg, by the way, if I didn't say that already. I hope I did. No skimping reps. That's what all of our clients always ask us. 10 on each side, 10 all out. It's always the harder variation, of course it is. So you see here, she's opted for on the knees. Maintaining that posture as well. <laughs> 10 each side. <laughs> she was excited to finish. She should know better. <laughs> Through a first round already, I only took it 30 seconds. I'm just going to swap sides, give us some room. <laughs> there we go, multitasking. Already a minute down, guys. So I want to see how many rounds you can get done. As always, I want to ensure control is a priority, which we can see here. Doing really well. Hope you guys are all working hard out there. You're about a minute and a half in, closing in. Not too much to go for the rest of the day. It's more so the up, getting up and down off the ground, which can be the hard part, of course, especially if you're a bit tired. My colleague's only got one gear all out. <laughs> 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 Hope you guys are competitive out there as well. Self-competitive, of course. <laughs> it's past two minutes, guys. Pretty close to that halfway mark through that round. <clears throat> it's on the home stretch for the day, in fact. Oh, well, Bay. Great job. <laughs> Especially past the halfway arc of that round. <clears throat> Closing in, guys, as many rounds as you can. <clears throat> Bank is going to get about 20 the way that she's going. <clears throat> All about being self competitive. Goes without saying, guys, want to make sure you're giving plenty of shout outs in your Yama group as well. <clears throat> plenty of banter, plenty of encouragement, of course. So this two minute warning coming up. <clears throat> Got our last rest coming up. Fun part, rest. If you do need to take time in between to have rests, of course you can, guys. <laughs> Getting up and down off the ground seems to get a little bit harder towards the end. <laughs> Luckily, Bianca has youth on her side. <laughs> Just about done on this working block team. Very, very close. Heart rate should be well and truly up. Hopefully, you're utilizing your rest periods. Great job. Last minute, this is your final minute sprint. So really start to pick up your intensity. Always finish off strong. <clears throat> Always want your last minute to be all out best you can. Let's remember tens on each side, guys. <clears throat> okay, 45. I think we might sneak one more pairing in just. Last 30 seconds, guys, all the way to the end. <clears throat> all that effort. Definitely get the high knees in. Might get the flank reaches in. 
We're going to maintain good form, of course, aren't we? <laughs> 15 seconds, all out effort to finish off. Finish off those reps. Make sure you remember how many rounds you got as well. You will be trying to compete against yourself at a later date. Great job in two. One awesome effort. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Well earned drinks break. Make sure you get your drinks. <laughs> take your time. And that's the other thing too, guys. If we get to the working block and you're still not ready, you can take extra time. That's totally fine. If you're enthusiastic and you want to get stuck straight into things, of course, you can start early. It's not too many of our clients that take that us up on that, but maybe you guys do. Okay, our next two exercises, we've got lateral lunges. So that's a side lunge. So this one can be a bit tricky. And once again, you can hold on to something in front of you. It can be with a weight. You can do it on the spot or you can take a small step to get into your long reach. Up to you how you want to go about that one. Okay, so that's 10 all up. So five on each side. And then we've got your standard star jumps, which we went through in our warm up as well. And you can take the impact out of that one also. There you go. Great. Got 30 seconds. Do you want to start early? No, I was joking. You don't have to. <laughs> that was a firm no, guys, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> so this is our last working block for the day. And then we'll do a small debrief and then set you all on your days. Hope you're all doing well out there. <clears throat> Gonna start that in 10. So once again, you've got your lateral lunges that can be with a weight, or without a weight, it can be short range, it can be long range, whatever works best. Then you've got your star jumps. 10 all up <laughs> this time. <laughs> Exception to the rule today. <laughs> it's usually the harder variation, but for your last one, we want to get a bit of a speed round in. So it's a great question though. So it's your last five minutes of the day, star jumps. So you can try and get her hands a bit higher, I think. <laughs> the shoulders are a bit sore from carrying the team, she suggests. <laughs> so five on each side. She can reduce the range if she'd really like, depending on how the knees are feeling. If you have balance issues, of course, hold on to something in front of you. Other variation, guys, if you do struggle with your laterals, you can just do some split squats instead. So there's a few different variations there. So already a minute down. Already got through one round of those, two rounds of those. So based on that, eight rounds. <laughs> I'm gonna swap sides, give you some room. It is good with the microphone too, team. I don't have to project my voice. It's always kind for the coaches. <laughs> Got your star jumps. Like we've touched on, you do have your aggress version, take impact out. Don't know if anyone heard my back cracks just then. <laughs> it's well past a minute and a half now, guys. Not long to go for the day. <clears throat> Love to see our heart rate graphs as well. Post session as always. <laughs> Hopefully you've remembered your heart rate monitors today. If you have one, if you don't, I've got a few recommendations if you'd like to ask. <laughs> We've lost count at this stage of the workout guys. So that's always good. Good sign that we're working out. So at the halfway mark of this final round of the day, so this is the home stretch. <clears throat> My advice is if you want to have a big finish, start to ease it off a little bit for the next 30 and then start to build it back up for your last two minutes. Hopefully you're counting your rounds as well and you remember what you're up to. It's always good. How are we feeling? Lovely. <laughs> Sweaty, lovely, great. A few adjectives there. I'd like to hear your adjectives out there, guys. <laughs> Last two minutes of the day. <clears throat> Try and get as much done as you can. You always finish off on a high. Always. <clears throat> Especially in any of our sessions at our clubs, of course. <clears throat> So 
the best exercise of the day is coming up in about a minute and a half time, guys. And that's a rest and a pat on the back. Virtual one, of course. <clears throat> Got through a lot of rounds here. Good job. <laughs> I'm not surprised, but also, <laughs> it's true. Not having to get up and down does save a lot of time. I agree. I struggle getting out of bed in the morning. It's all right. It's cold here in Melbourne, <laughs> especially out in the hills. <clears throat> now, last minute, guys. This is your all out effort to finish off the day. We've all killed it today, but like I said, always finish off strong. 60 seconds of fun to finish. See how Bianca stepped up her intensity, but she's still maintaining good form, controlled form, most importantly. She's got her breathing, kind of. <laughs> She'll get one more round of both exercises done, I suspect. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys are counting. Last 30 seconds of the day coming up. <clears throat> and rest time, of course. Everyone's favorite debrief. It's personally my favorite part of taking any session is to get to have conversations and chats and a debrief about how you've just gone. Last 15 seconds, guys. Bianca's gonna get her last 10 in. <clears throat> she might even get a few lunges in. Only a few. Maybe a more. No, not in five seconds. I don't think so. <laughs> Great job, guys. In two, one, time off. Good work, B. Work, guys. Great. I'm going to let Bianca catch her breath and go for a bit of a walk. <laughs> Have a drink, my friend. Hope you all did well today, guys. We're starting to step up the intensity of certain sessions. You may have noticed that's another cardio session, of course. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it today. Uh, my advice past a cardio session is to let your heart rate drop. Don't sit down straight away. Make sure you're walking around, you get your water in, cool yourself down first before sitting down. Um, obviously, an ample stretch as well. If you have the time, always recommended. Always recommended in your own time as well. As mentioned a few times today, make sure you're posting all your graphs, your sweaty selfies, banter, interaction, that sort of thing within your community, within your Yammer group. Um, thank you all once again for another great session. I didn't do much, but you all did. Thanks to this super coach over here, Bianca. You'll probably see a little bit more of her in the next few sessions. So till next time, have a great day. Look after each other. We'll see you soon.